So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's first welcome David Katz. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, all. Have you ever had to follow Sir David Attenborough on stage? <laughs> Remarkable to be here. Minister McKenna, as a fellow Canadian, thank you. Now, ocean scientists tell us that there's more than 150 million ton of plastic in the ocean. And every year, we're racing to add more than an additional 8 million. And so far, almost all of our effort globally has been to clean the ocean. And very little is actually going into stopping plastic from flowing into the ocean to begin with. And it really is no different than walking into a kitchen with an overflowing sink. Imagine yourself walking in, water spilling all over the floor, water seeping into the foundation of the home, and everyone's running around looking for buckets, mops, and plungers. Well, what we really need to do is to turn off the tap. So we stop people from dumping plastic into the environment so it doesn't flow into the ocean in the first place. And we believe that the solution lies in the problem itself. You see, we've become an economic development firm that monetizes plastic and incentivizes people to collect plastic as if it were cash, because it is. It's as if we've all been walking over acres of diamonds, shining in the sun. We want to pick them up, but we realize that there's no store that I can spend the diamonds at. There's no one that will barter the value of diamonds with me. And there's no bank that I can deposit the plastic into. And if that was the case, they would sit on the ground worthless as rocks. And so we've opened up plastic bank branches in areas where poverty and plastic litter the landscape. I created Plastic Bank so that people could co collect and deposit plastic waste and withdraw value. Like in Cité Soleil, a slum of Port-au-Prince, arguably one of the poorest communities in the world, where every day one of our collectors, Lisa Nassis, collects plastic bottles and containers and packaging and returns it, one, returns it back to one of our branches, where a value is then deposited into her online bank account. And as a result, she and thousands like her have been able to earn up to $6 a day, where most Haitians earn $2 a day or less. Now, because it's deposited into an online bank account, she has a digital wallet, that keeps her safe from robbery. And it creates a savings account, which also gives her a new sense of worth. Now, Lisa and our other members, Justin Haiti, have conservatively collected more than 200 million bottles, kept them from flowing into the ocean. A remarkable feat. And really, as a result of the entirety of the program, that value that is transferred into the hands of the poor allows them to buy the things that they need the most, like school tuition, and medical care, and cell phone minutes, and Wi-Fi, and everything else our members had struggled to afford before, but now can. And so now, Plastic Branch, Plastic Bank, has over 530 branches around the world, like in Haiti, and in Brazil, and in the Philippines, and in Indonesia. And conservatively, as a collection, we've prevented more than 500 million bottles from flowing into the ocean. And they don't all look like bank branches at all. In Indonesia, grocery markets that have a simple scale and a smartphone accept plastic waste by mass as a form of payment, allowing everyone in the community that has and encounters plastic the ability to buy more things. Or like in Brazil, 
in our interfaith model, where every family has the opportunity to collect their family material and return it to church and use their plastic as an offering instead of cash and then engaging the church with the poor. Or like in the Philippines where we have cooperatives, where we bring individual collectors together, creating a cooperative, immediately doubling their income. And the doubling of that income goes into savings funds and investment groups, giving every collector an opportunity to have a future vision. Or like in Haiti, where the water is littered with water sachet. And now any of our members or any community member in the end can collect sachet and pay for medical insurance and medical care directly at a medical clinic using plastic garbage as payment. And what I'm most proud of is we've created an opportunity in hundreds of schools where every family can collect their plastic from home and pay for their children's school tuition at the school. And I think more importantly, all of that plastic that we've collected has enormous value. And we sell that material to great companies at Stanford, like S.C. E. Johnson and the German consumer goods company Henkel, who use that material back in their packaging. And they convert it into certified social plastic. And so that when anyone, any of you, buys a laundry detergent or window cleaner or shampoo that is packaged with social plastic, you are directly contributing to the extraction of ocean-bound material and alleviating poverty simultaneously. And that's our goal. It's to turn off the tap. It's to stop the over 8 million tons of plastic from flowing into the ocean to begin with and lift people out of poverty in the process. And importantly, to do that and why I'm here is because we need everyone's help. We need everyone's help to grow and to scale. And we ask you, if you represent a country, invite us in. Open your border. Work with us. And so that perhaps humanity's greatest threat truly is humanity's richest opportunity. Thank you.